We are now getting much closer to the end of the impeachment trial for suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton with the defense calling their first and only witnesses. One of the impeachment articles alleging that Paxton wrongfully fired his former top deputies after he reported him to the FBI amid their concerns about his relationship with real estate investor Nate Paul. Now yesterday we heard from four current employees with the AG's office who say they don't believe there was any wrongdoing on the part of Paxton. The defense's third witness overall on Thursday was Henry De La Garza, the longtime head of HR at the AG's office. And in their questioning, attorneys laying the foundation that the whistleblowers were not wrongfully fired, but were actually insubordinate in the end. Good reasons and fair reasons exist for each of the former staffers that were involuntarily terminated. In my opinion, yes. Did Ken Paxton ever indicate expressly or implicitly that these former staffers needed to be fired because they made a report to law enforcement? Not to my knowledge. Do you now, in their cross-examination, prosecutors going back to one of their key early arguments, which is that the whistleblowers did the right thing. And Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has also said that the Senate will not take a day off until they finally come to a decision.